Do you know how to handle errors when applying formulas in Excel? Hey everyone, welcome back to the data trail. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to handle errors when applying formulas in Excel. So let's get started. Here we have revenue and unit price and we want to find out how many units were sold to achieve this revenue. The formula is very simple. We will divide the revenue with unit price and this will give us unit sold. We will drag it down to apply on all rows. Now the cells where we don't have unit price value will give us errors, division by zero. To handle this, we will use if error function. So instead of directly dividing revenue with unit price, we will apply formula if error bracket start and within these brackets, we will divide revenue with unit price and comma after the comma the second argument is what we want to return in case there is an error so let's return zero bracket close enter let's drag it down to apply on all rows and now instead of an error we get zero for all the cells where we don't have unit price now instead of zero we can also change it to an empty cell or any other value that we want this formula to return when it encounters any error. So let's try with empty cell. Let's drag it down to apply on all rows. Now, instead of zero, we get an empty cell where we don't have any unit price. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and follow the data trail for more excellent tips and tutorials.